How's it going, everybody? It's your man, Leonidas, a.k.a. Mr. Homebrew. Now, I'm sure we're all well aware of the 6.0 update that has been released for the Nintendo Switch. Ah, <sighs> People are so quick to assume certain things. Um, when it comes to Homebrew, there's a little myth going around. People seem to think that when you run homebrew right now in 6.0, if you have a modded Joy-Con, that that Joy-Con, which would be the right Joy-Con in this case, you know, if you had the modded one, it's going to get bricked. With the 6.0 update, that's not true. That's a myth. That was a fake rumor that was started. And people need to get off that <laughs> sooner than later because there's too much of a scare in that regards. Now, as you can see, my Nintendo Switch is running 6.0. For those who don't believe, we can clarify that real quickly. Here, let me take a moment do something real quick. Let me go into that system settings. And... I'm going to scroll all the way down to the bottom of that baby. See that? 6.0. No question about it. Now, I'm sure many people are going to want to run Retro NX, Homebrew, all that good stuff. Now, what you're going to need to do is power off your Nintendo Switch. Completely. Give it a moment. Make sure it's off. Remove your micro SD card from your Nintendo Switch. Now it is recommended to have your micro SD card as FAT32. Yes, Homebrew and Retro NX. All that good stuff works on xfat exfat but you may get more corruption you may not get corruption fat 32 is what we recommend when it comes to homebrew but it's your choice as for laka fat 32 is your only option no exfat keep that in mind now i have my micro sd card inserted to my computer I'm going to double click and go to the root of my micro SD card right there. Now, you're going to download a zip file. It is called the SD files version 901.zip. You're going to open that up and you're going to drag and drop all those files onto the root of your micro SD card. It's going to tell me I need to replace them. I'm going to cancel it because I already have mine on my micro SD card. But you are going to want to replace. Make sure they're on your micro SD card. Replace if you've already followed previous tutorials on this channel. And you just need to copy them over if it's a fresh SD card. Now, within those files, or in that zip file, is the HeK underscore ctc aer underscore 4.1 dot bin dot bin it's a bin file that bin file is the payload you need to send to your nintendo switch when it's in rcm mode to get into homebrew now there are two ways you can do that you can do it with tigra rcm gui click the little folder button select that hek underscore ctc aer underscore 4.1.bin file and that's going to be the payload you're going to execute to your Nintendo Switch when it's in RCM mode. I'm going to show you that in, in just a moment. And also, if you don't want to send it from a computer, you can use an X loader. An NX loader will also send the payload from your Android device. Now, I prefer to send it from my Android usually for mobile use. So don't worry, I'll have a download link for that app too. 
Now that I have the file situated on my micro SD card, you're going to eject your micro SD card properly from your computer. Eject. Ready to be ejected. Remove it. I'm going to plug my micro SD card into my Nintendo Switch now that it's prepared. There we go. It's all good to go. Now, to get into RCM mode, remove your right Joy-Con. And you should have something, a jig. Okay? Is that jig there? It's my jig. Mine shorts out pins 10 and 1, or 1 and 10, on the right Joy-Con slot. So, I slide that in to my Nintendo Switch. Hold volume up and power button for just a couple of seconds. One, two, three. Let go. Then if I want, I can send the payload. Now, I can either send it from the computer or I can send it from my Android device. It doesn't matter really. Um, I'm going to send it from my Galaxy S8 just for the fun. Why not? So here we go. Plug it in. I'm in an RCM mode on the Nintendo Switch. I'm going to select my payload. If you get this right here where it doesn't seem to boot right up the first time around, it's all good. I just unplug it from my phone one more time. Plug it back in. Select the payload again. And there you go. She's booting up. Give it just a moment. And we'll be into the good stuff. It's not too difficult. Thank you very much, CTCAER, for all your hard work along with everybody else on the team. And for... XW, Nat, you guys know who you are. Everybody, appreciate all the hard work. Now you're going to go into your albums, and bang. As you can see, I'm going to start up Retro NX. I'm going to load up a recent game, why not? Final Fantasy VIII, run. Give it a moment. And the game should load up. Patience as usual. But this is PlayStation 1 running right now. The intro. I don't think I made a save state. But it's all good. I don't even think I made a save in this right now. See, no save data. It's all good. It's working. No question about it. There you go. It's a crazy battle scene for the beginning of a game. Final Fantasy VIII. If you haven't played it, you should play it. It's your man Leonidas, a.k.a. Mr. Homebrew. You know what it is. Bring you all that good stuff. Be sure to like, subscribe, share. Help support this channel. And I do, once again, I appreciate all the hard work from the developers that have dedicated all their time and hard work and knowledge into getting these things working. It's amazing to see. Again, I got PlayStation 1 running on the Nintendo Switch right now. Very happy and very excited how fast things have progressed. Patience is always a virtue. And you know, we're trying to get everything sorted out one thing at a time. It's amazing to know this right here is running strictly off the CPU, no GPU at this point in time. That's amazing. Now, and when I say that, I mean the emulator running PlayStation. All the best. Take care. Man Leonidas. Peace.